Now to breaking news, an Auburn police officer passes out behind the wheel and crashes his SUV filled with carbon monoxide. And this may be part of a much bigger problem with police vehicles. Let's get right out to WBZ's Ken McLeod. And Ken, the department has now parked several of its cruisers. Yeah, David, and they're parked in that lot right across the street next to the police department because carbon monoxide testing on the air inside them went as high as 40 parts per million, enough to sicken an officer or make them pass out. In this case, a reading above 70 for a sustained period of time could be fatal. Now, with this incident, Auburn joins a growing list of police departments nationwide trying to work through this very problem. It was a low-key radio call from an Auburn officer who just gently rear-ended another car at a stop sign. He said that he had just been involved in an accident and he had passed out. And with that, Chief Slucas immediately ordered carbon monoxide testing for all of his Ford Explorer police cruisers and all of his officers. The cop involved in the accident went to the hospital with high levels of CO in his blood, and so did another officer with slightly lower levels. Both will be okay. Obviously, it hinders operations and poses a, a safety threat. Auburn now becomes one of several PDs across the country, with late model Ford Explorers leaking potentially deadly carbon monoxide into the passenger compartment. Possibly the result of the special interceptor police equipment package that almost all departments add on to them. Officers elsewhere have been overcome and had similar accidents. We've ordered carbon monoxide detectors which will be uh, delivered and installed by tomorrow morning for every vehicle that we have remaining in the fleet. Until then, nine of Auburn's 28 Ford Explorer cruisers will stay parked and officers will use every other spare car available. The chief says no officers had raised warning flags with complaints of lightheadedness or nausea prior to this incident. He says this morning's accident could have been a lot worse. He's lucky he wasn't on a highway is, is what he is. By the way, the lady hit by the officer this morning has just a bump on the head. She's otherwise okay. Now, in a statement this afternoon, Ford stressed that safety is its top priority, and it continues to imply that modifications made to the Explorers after they left the factory are the culprit here. It has a team of engineers in Massachusetts right now working on this very issue and says they will arrive here at the Auburn PD either tonight or tomorrow. Live in Auburn, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.